Good morning, friends and fellow traders. This is Doug Campbell with Right Way Options, and this is a morning market prep video for February 22nd, 2021. Hey guys, I hope you had a great weekend this weekend. I saw the weather's improving and um, everything's starting to warm up. I hope you had a great weekend. I apologize that this video is going to be late today because I have recorded it once already and I had a failure in my system to record the microphone. So I'm starting over. Um, so how about we settle in, buckle up, and let's get ready for the Monday edition of the Morning Market Prep video. So this morning, everyone, looking at the markets, we had a little bit of concern last week with a very, very choppy price action uh, market gapping around every day. Uh, finding some sellers after every morning gap up. Kind of an interesting day or an interesting week. But overall, we ended up holding this trend pretty solidly. So we stayed above that trend and we're holding above some price support in the chart. So overall, we're looking pretty good here. And then we see this morning. Well, this morning we have treasury yields rallying just a little bit. And we can see those bears are having a little bit of fun here this morning, pushing the market down in the pre-market. That said, pushing the market down here, we are pushing right into a level of price support here on the Dow. So it really is going to depend on whether those bears are going to be feisty enough to push on through that support or if those bulls are going to come racing in with kind of the buy the dip uh, mentality, pushing um, this or defending this right off of that price support. That's going to be critical here today. So watch that this morning. As I'm recording this again for the second time, um, Dow futures are down just a little over 200 points. So a little bit of pressure here on the market. Let's take a look at the SPY. Now SPY had a little bit more concern in it on Friday and notice that we left behind kind of a dark cloud cover pattern. That little pattern up there where we saw just that little bit of bearishness coming in and a little bit of concern on that chart. So nothing major because we were holding on to this trend and we were still holding on to support. But that little bit of dark cloud right there gave us uh, maybe just a little pause. And notice that that could create just that little, little tiny lower high here in the chart. Now this morning the big concern is this potential gap. Um, if we gap down here this morning and notice that the SPY is trying to to, um, push back here now this morning all of a sudden trying to push back so if they bullishly hold on to this this morning we could be in good shape let's watch that closely earlier this morning that was looking a little bit less positive but watch that um, area right there if we hold that support we could be in pretty good shape however if we were to slip and fall and drift below that level, that would be a problem for us. Let's take a look at the Qs. Now the QQQ left behind probably the biggest concern overall. QQQ drifting uh, below um, this price support in the chart this morning. Notice we left behind that dark cloud cover and that little concern of that break, that little higher low, albeit holding right on to that trend. So nothing terrible here yet, but just that little bit of pause, that little hesitation, a little concern. Now the question this morning, as we break this support, will those bulls come in, defend this and push us right back up? Because if they do, we're in good shape. However, if they were to fail in this area, and let me just draw this out, if we were to drift on lower in here and then rally back to that resistance point, just notice that that could create that failure point in a potential downtrend. And also, if you take a look, and this might be a little bit difficult for some folks to see, just notice right here, if we were to do something like that, that could create that possible head and shoulders top in here. So what we really need to see is we need to see those bulls stepping up, pushing us back up here, holding, and then showing us that um, upside opportunity. If we were to fail in here, that could be critical and the cues could definitely uh, drag the market lower. So watch that close. And then IWM, IWM had a pretty darn good day on Friday, pushing back up 
financials, energy sector stocks doing pretty well, continuing to hold this up. And you can see, although depending on how you draw this trend, we may have given up that price support a little bit. Notice right in here as I've drawn this chart, we popped right here into that resistance in that chart. And now we've got this little bit of a bearish push this morning. So watch that close. We don't want this to be um, creating that lower high resistance level in the chart if we were to fail and make a new low. Now notice we do have considerable support in here even if we do fail. So not a terrible thing going on. Let's take a look at um, the VIX. Now the VIX has been really kind of perplexing in that we had that little bit of uncertainty and a little bit of fear cropping up but we really didn't see that show up in fear in the VIX and even though um, we have been extremely bullish setting new record highs we have this perplexing problem here as well where we just can't seem to break the support of this move we can't seem to get down and hold down below 20 handles here in the VIX so with this morning's little gap down I suspect we could see this spike up a little bit and that may spike us just a little bit above that 50-day moving average possibly even test that 200-day moving average but I don't know that that's going to be bad as long as those bulls come in and defend if they come in and defend then um, we're in pretty good shape however if those bears remain feisty and push on through we could have a little bit of fear spike coming here into the VIX so watch that close and then let's take a look at our T2122 now T2122 was interesting on Friday in that although we had some of those bearish signals out there in the market starting to show up our t2122 rallied substantially on the day and that pushed us right back up here into that bearish resistance zone we still have upside opportunity if we can find the bullish um, reason to push on higher we still have some upside opportunity but let's just kind of make note that we also have a pretty open space down here for that pullback and I, i'm guessing that this morning's gap down is going to pull us down and may not pull us down all the way maybe pull us down to midpoint in here just pull us back into this level I don't know that um, we're just going to sink all the way back down uh, remember we have the high hopes of um, that big stimulus coming around and that could keep the market bullish even though we've had you know some interesting things like um, jobless numbers creeping up housing numbers um, um, starting to slide, um, interest rates rising, gas prices rising pretty substantially, um, and things like that starting to create a little bit of uncertainty and concern in the market. But with the big hope of that stimulus, there could be enough energy here to continue um, holding this up. Let's take a look at our economic calendar for today. And our economic calendar does have a few things going on that we'll want to pay attention to. Um, as you can see, today is a very, very light day on the calendar with not much of anything out there to move us around. But on the rest of the calendar for the rest of the week, we have quite a few things that we'll want to make note of. Notice that we've got um, Jerome Powell speaking twice, Tuesday and Wednesday. Um, we know that anytime he speaks, the market steps up and listens, and sometimes we can see choppy market conditions while we're waiting to see if he reveals anything new. We um, have petroleum status here midweek, and then the real um, economic calendar gets started here on Thursday with durable goods, GDP, and jobless claims. We know how those things can move us around, and we follow that up on Friday with international trade and personal incomes. Uh, Chicago PMI and consumer sentiment. So all of those things we'll want to pay attention to as we move toward the end of the week. Let's take a look at some stocks that could be setting up. But before we do that, oh, first, um, we need to take a look at the earnings calendar. The earnings calendar, we've got about 40 companies reporting. And um, I'm not going to spend a lot of time on this this morning because of the re-recording. But if you guys want to get the full list of stocks um, that are somewhat notable, um, go just below the the title of the video there is a link that will take you back to the blog and from that blog you can catch the full notables this morning so we've got companies like um, Dish Network reporting uh, Fang 
Um, we've got OXY, Occidental Petroleum uh, reporting today. Pan W, I think, is this afternoon. We've got RIG that will be reporting. So there's quite a few companies out there that you might want to be paying attention to on these earnings reports. Um, once again, click that link to go back to the morning blog if you want the full list. Also, guys, if you want to support this channel and aren't a member of Hit and Run Candlesticks or Right Way Options and would like to um, provide a little bit of support for this kind of content, you can also click that link just below there to buy me a coffee and all that. Uh, those funds are going to go to buying camera equipment and things like that so I can improve the channel. So obviously no obligation to do so, but if you want to support this channel, that's one way that you can do it. Let's take a look at some stocks that are setting up. And before we do that, guys, if this is the first time you've seen these videos, please do me a favor and click that subscribe button. Also click that bell icon when it pops up so that you can be notified every time I post a video. And all if you um, feel that the video was worthy, please click that thumbs up button, leave a brief comment. I truly, truly appreciate that, guys. It helps the channel to grow. We're continuing to reach out to, to, to uh, um, to more people. I had no idea that there would be this many folks with an interest in this kind of content on YouTube and just absolutely blown away by you guys and your kind, your kindness. So thank you so much. Let's take a look at some stock setting up. And remember guys, as I look at these stocks, there's no recommendation to buy or sell any security. Um, when we take a look at these, make sure you do your own due diligence. I placed an alert on Ford um, on Friday and taking a look at this nice little consolidating move. Notice that there's no one selling this here and we have no follow through buying on this. What's important I think about this this chart is that we broke through a significant level of price resistance as you can see here in the chart and at least at this point there are no sellers no one wants to give it up after breaking up through there so what i'm looking for is just waiting to see if i can get a little bullishness um, perking up in here and see that move on through and maybe run up here and test this next resistance in the chart as you can see i've got that marked over here and so watch that could be a nice upside move in that chart. Keep an eye on Snap. Now Snap, very nice looking chart. Popped my alert on Friday, moving on up. And as you can see, nice little hold of that consolidation in there, looking good, trying to push on through. This morning it's showing a little bit of pullback with the rest of the market, but I don't think that's going to hurt anything. And notice that this is blue sky highs. So um, lots of potential upside in here as we continue to fire up on this trend. So watch Snap. You might want to keep an eye on TDOC. TDOC, interesting little chart here um, in this consolidating move. Notice that we've been running up in a nice little trend and we've been resting right in this area. So I'm keeping an eye on this chart to see if we can push on through to that upside move here. Um, obviously, health sector has been pretty good um, um, during COVID season and so lots um, lots going on in that chart. As you guys know, about every day I've brought up Kohl's, KSS, and said keep watching this, keep watching this. And you can see it took off on Friday and today it's following through to the upside. This is just one of those great patterns that's easy to find, easy to identify. And notice that we were just holding on to support here in that chart and we pushed on through to the upside. So Kohl's looking very, very good overall. Take a look at like GPS. GPS, these little retailers doing quite well here recently and pushing up. There's GPS breaking through some resistance. Nice bullish candle here on Friday showing lots of bullishness trying to push on up. Now again don't chase these but the next potential entry into the trade any rest or pullback in here could set up that opportunity for the upside. Uh, take a look at ANF. ANF pushing up. Beautiful little setup here. Nice little resting pullback off of that support. Bullish uh, 
uh, they came right in on that, pushing this on higher and looking really good. ANF looking very, very good. Take a look at UAA. Now I have a position in UAA, it's a longer term hold, but UAA setting up exactly the same way as Kohl's was setting up. Nice little tight consolidation, broke through a major resistance level here in the chart and nobody wants to sell it. So it's just holding in here nice and tight. What we wanna do is watch for that next opportunity that this could break on through and start perking on up to the upside. So keep an eye on that chart. I also wanna mention TBT. Now, um, I was in a position on TBT, have been for a while and I actually got called away on that position on Friday. I had a short call on it. I went ahead and let it uh, get pulled away. Notice that the um, ultra short on the 20 year treasury has really perked up. Now I wouldn't want to chase this at this point, but this is one of the reasons we're having this bearishness showing up here in the market today. Watch this carefully. If this rests or pull back, there could be another opportunity to pick up TBT to the upside. Um, watch that close. Those treasury bonds rising are starting to become a little bit of concern. And I want to mention silver here. Um, now I am holding silver, so I have a little bit of a bias on it, but I think there's something going on here in silver that I wanna pay attention to. Um, nice little tight consolidation across in here. As you can see, we're holding in this range in that chart and we're not seeing any sell-off. And what we've seen here excuse me, what we've seen here recently is we've seen considerable sell-off in gold, but silver is holding up very, very well. And the industrial aspects of this metal um, look very promising with the building of all these electric vehicles and, and um, infrastructure improvements that's going to be needed. Silver is going, going to be in high demand. As a matter of fact, I don't uh, the reports that I've seen, there's not enough available si silver to replace all of the auto industry with electric vehicles at the moment. So this really needs to perk up. Watch that closely. Um, could have some pretty good upside in it if it can get going. And um, I can't mention silver um, without mentioning copper. Copper um, electric vehicles are gonna require a huge amount of copper um, to make those work. Um, so keep an eye on this. Now I wouldn't chase this here, a little rest or pullback would be a nice opportunity for a re-entry, but copper holding up very, very strong. So keep an eye on that. So with that everyone, hey, I apologize for this video being late. I hope you got something out of it. I wanna wish you all a fantastic day, great results in your trading. We'll see you right back here bright and early Tuesday morning. Take care everyone.